With a relentless focus on excellence in healthcare, Pullman Regional Hospital presents the Health Podcast. Agriculture is a main industry on the Palouse, but what do farmers need to do to protect their hearing out in the field? To learn a little bit more about this, Dr. Anna Curette, an audiologist at Palouse ENT and Audiology, will break down what hearing protection looks like, what options are available, and why hearing preservation is so important. Hello, Dr. Curette, and welcome. Good morning. Thank you. If it's okay by you, we'll just jump right in. Absolutely. So why is it so important to protect your hearing when you're in an environment with loud noise? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but most importantly, loud noise may not have an obvious impact on people's hearing immediately, but over time, the impact of noise on our hearing can be quite significant. It's hugely important to protect our hearing when any loud noises are present, and it's really also important for our long-term hearing health. The more noise we're exposed to, the worse our hearing will be, particularly when we also combine in that natural aging process of our hearing system. And now you've lived on the Palouse, where agriculture is the main industry all your life. What do farmers specifically need to do to help protect their hearing? Great question. A rule of thumb when it comes to protecting your hearing is to always use hearing protection when operating any equipment or machinery, as those can be very loud. If you're not sure if something is too loud, it is better to play it safe and use that hearing protection. Chances are, if there is any equipment that you are using for your day-to-day work, it may be loud enough to impact your hearing if you don't play it safe. So... As a DJ, I've worn pretty heavy headphones for many, many years, and as a radio host as well, I'm sure it's even worse for people who really need to protect their hearing from loud, loud noises. What types of hearing protections are available? There's a bunch of options that are available when it comes to hearing protection. Of course, you can find simple over-the-counter earplugs at most stores and pharmacies. There are also the kinds that you can roll up and put in your ears, The kind that you wear over the ear, like earmuffs, are also a good option. But again, these are simple. If you know that you're going to be around loud noise for extended periods of time, as are many individuals in agriculture, it may be smart to double up your hearing protection and wear both in the ear and over the ear options. There are also other types of hearing protection available, like custom hearing protection, which can be made to help you hear the important things that you need to hear, but that can also block out the loud noises using specialized filters. Typically, the audiologist can help fit you with these types of devices. They may be a bit more expensive, but they tend to have better long-term outcomes when it comes to protecting your ears. Interesting. And what do those look like? Typically, the audiologist takes an impression of your ear, So just how, you know, for example, if you went to the dentist and you had to get an impression taken of your teeth, we do something similar for the ear. It's a pretty quick and simple process, but really in the long run, it's a great option for people that are around that noise all day, every day. Wow, that is really innovative. I never heard of an ear print before. Yeah, they're pretty interesting pieces. Yeah. Now, are they very, very heavy? Because I know that can be quite taxing on a person to wear, you know, for six hours in a row, very heavy headphone type situations. Sure. No, the nice thing about those custom hearing protections is they are, again, custom to your ear. They are very, very lightweight, and many people don't even notice that they are in. Well, that's pretty wonderful. And they can communicate via phone or text if they need to keep their hearing protection on. Absolutely. There are filters, again, that we can install in those devices that will allow the individual to be protected from the louder sounds in their day-to-day work, but also hear those things that they need to be able to. Lovely. Now, if people don't protect their hearing when they're encountering loud noise, what could happen? So hearing loss is really what can happen. Hearing loss is caused by that noise, and it is irreversible, leading to reduced ability to understand speech And it can, unfortunately, cause even more serious damage to the auditory system over time. I think you just answered my next question with, can you reverse any hearing loss at all? Nope. Unfortunately, especially that type that's caused by noise, it's not reversible. It is treatable with hearing aids or other devices, but it's not reversible. So better to play it safe. Yeah. You would hope that those little molecules would grow back, but I guess they don't, huh? They do not, unfortunately. Okay. Now, how often should people get their hearing checked by an audiologist? 
annually. So just as we go to the dentist or the doctor every year for a checkup, we should also be going to our audiologist to have our hearing checked. Somebody who has not had their hearing tested before should do so. I would highly encourage that. Even if you're not concerned about your hearing at this time, it is always good to establish a baseline of your hearing in case you do end up having hearing concerns. Right. And take us through the process. I go to you, I sit down in the chair, and what happens? Basically, all that you do is you listen for some sounds. They're usually pretty quiet. And you say yes or raise your hand when you hear those sounds. And looking for the softest sound that the individual is able to hear. And this will give me an idea of their hearing sensitivity. I just have to, I'm smiling because I I think people probably guess a lot. Is that right? Absolutely. (laughs) We get a lot of guessing in the clinic. But, you know, there are specific protocols that I follow to make sure we're getting the best results possible and that the patient knows exactly what is going on with their ears. All right. No cheating at the audiologist. Oh, no. (laughs) Is there anything else you'd like to add to our conversation? Overarching theme here, protect your hearing. Reach out to your local audiologist. Consider scheduling a hearing test. It's always great to have an idea of how your hearing is looking now so that you can best protect it for your entire life. It's one of the easiest doctor visits of all. It does not hurt a bit, right? Absolutely. No needles, no nothing. Just sit down and listen to sounds, right? Okay. Well, Dr. Curette, we so appreciate your time and everything you do to help our wonderful patients and farmers. Thanks so much for being with us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. And you can learn more about this subject, providers and services at Pullman Regional Hospital online at pullmanregional.org slash audiology. This has been the Health Podcast from Pullman Regional. I'm your host, Deborah Howell. Thanks for listening and have yourself a terrific day. Thank you.